All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the uh, Freedom Headquarters North. Just a stone's throw from the Capitol Building at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So if anybody's asking me where, yeah, I do a lot of stuff. It's in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I go from Philly all the way out to Pittsburgh. Just depends on what region it is. And if you're asking where I do all my shooting up here, well, yesterday it was at the game land. So uh, that was pretty cool. We shot out to 300 yards. And just for an FYI, I was using the AAC uh, 77 grain from the boys over there at Palmetto State Army. If you want or are interested in that, there is a link in my campsite down below. And it'll take you over there if it's in stock, 55 cents a round. And we were getting some pretty decent groups, pretty consistent. Uh, I'm looking forward to testing some more of this stuff. I am uh, going to be uh, rolling through some Callaway ballistics uh, next week as well. And uh, we'll see how that performs in comparison to with the 77 grain. They are a 124 grain open tip. And we'll put some links down below as well later next week. But anyway, that's what I was shooting yesterday. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Gun control measures advance in Pennsylvania State House. Of course they do, because you know why? They have these things called Democrats. Now, well, let me ask you a question. Just do it. Take the shot. Isn't that what he says? Right? So the Democrats, they're always behind these gun control deals. Okay? And it's the one thing after another. And if we allow them to continue moving forward, you Democrats are selling yourself down the street uh, by giving up more rights. Now, Joe was talking about yesterday, well, his keepers, according to one of the viewers, his keepers were telling him to say this, is that you are going to lose your rights left and right. Hold on one second. If I don't do this, it'll just keep ringing. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Yes. Phil, I checked your feed, your text messages. All right, so <laughs> you'll know you know who you are. So yeah, uh, look at Washington State. Okay, they did the big AR ban. We knew that Inslee was going to go ahead and move that in there. But here's the thing: they are going to continue to move forward. They're going to kill us either way they can by taking our rights one scratch. What do they call it? One nick at a time. A uh, thousand cuts. Okay, death by a thousand cuts. All right, so here it is. This is from Associated Press, and we're talking about gun control measures advanced in Pennsylvania State House. This is an article written by Brooke Schultz, and this was yesterday. Okay, had to actually replay this thing in order to get it to work. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Democrats advanced four gun control bills in Pennsylvania State House of Representatives on Wednesday after years of a virtual standstill on legislation amid a politically divided government. And that's the beauty of a government. They can be divided. And what that means is that people have an equal say in what's going on. Unless you have two big cities like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia where you're going to have an overwhelmingly uh, a huge majority of people that are going to vote mostly Democrat. The bills passed through committee on party lines. They could go before the full House as early as next week. <laughs> yeah. You know why? I'm going to tell you. The measures come as the U.S. is sitting, setting a record pace for mass killings in 2023, only because you got more nut cases. Uh, in Philadelphia, gun violence is playing a big role in this spring's campaign for mayor, and the city is asking the state's highest court to allow it to impose its own gun control policies because the individuals over there in Philadelphia are letting criminals out of jail. You know, oh, it's okay. It's equity. They can't afford to, the, they can't afford to post bail. So let's just let them out. And then they go off and they do it again. And what happens when you allow people to just go do things over and over and over and over again? It's called idiotic stupidity. Democrats tout the bills as relatively moderate gun control measures aimed at reducing gun violence, trafficking, suicides, and accidents. Okay, the bills emerged from the committee barely three months into the Democrats. One seat controlled the House after a dozen years of Republican majority. Uh, yeah, so now they got one person that can create a deciding vote. And I would say that that one person, instead of voting how you are told to vote, let's go ahead and vote with common sense. Vote for your constituents. Okay, so if you're in a rural area where people actually know what to do with a firearm, they hunt and do it, everything else. Uh, you know, it's not just for deer hunting anymore, ladies and gentlemen. It's for self-protection, okay? Uh, the bills, <laughs> all right, so we did that one right there. Uh, the package of four bills includes one to require long-barreled firearms to be sold with trigger locks. 
I think we already do that in North Carolina. Not a big deal, okay? Uh, take the trigger lock, and it becomes either a paperweight, or you put it into the drawer with the 300 other ones that you've already collected, okay? Uh, a second requires gun owners report a lost or stolen firearm to police within three days. I know in some cities, uh, and they want to make this a federal deal, is that it's a crime to not uh, report it. So in other words, I guess that's their means of cracking down on, po uh, what do you call that, straw purchases? I lost it. Or you could say you just sold it, but they clear it up. They're going to hammer you on that one. Uh, <laughs> repeat offenders would face a misdemeanor charge. Uh, a third bill would expand background checks on firearms buyers in Pennsylvania and in an exception for private sales of shotguns, sporting rifles, and semi-automatic rifles known as the gun show loophole. Now, in North Carolina, where I live, you can, or at least at one point in time, hell, I don't know the rules. I haven't really sold or bought anything from a stranger. But you can sell or buy whatever you wanted in the parking lot of a Walmart. They call it the gun show loophole because, hey, that makes everybody feel better. And it calls it a name, okay? So that's what they're doing. So first first, first, and foremost, you have to have a transfer. And then if you say you lost it, then where's the transfer? So they back each other up in this whole thing. It gives them the better ability to track what you are buying, what you have, and everything else under the sun. Ah. A f the fourth is a so-called red flag bill would allow a judge to order authorities to temporarily seize firearms. We know what a red flag is from someone if asked by a family members or police. He's just not, I just think he's crazy. Notice they don't say girlfriend, boyfriend, partner, whatever the hell it is. Family, okay? I'm not sure if that's going to change or not. 19 states have similar laws, according to everyone, for guns, every town for gun safety. An anti-gun violent organization that does everything they did, can do to take your freedoms away from you. All right, ahead of the committee's votes, Representative Tim Briggs, a Democrat from Montgomery County, of course, said it was no longer an option to do nothing. We have to do it. We have a responsibility to protect our children, our neighbors, our schools, our houses, our worship, our businesses, people in crisis, or our law enforcement communities from dangers of the gun crimes and violence. Today is the first step. I was sure you would not be the last. Exactly. And that's the reason we're <laughs> defending our rights to the T, okay? Republicans who voted jointly against measures raised concerns about exactly whom they would affect. Representative Rob Kaufman of Franklin County said the legislation didn't get to the root of the problem. Hell no, it just goes after law-abiding citizens. If folks are using guns illegally, they're doubtfully going to be going through the law-abiding process to acquire that gun. He said that the committee weighed the background bill, check bill, whatever they call it. I appreciate the intent. Of course, we want to protect our children. We want to do this, but at what cost? Okay, taking your rights away. The ultimate goal, ladies and gentlemen, and I said this time and time again, and you'll do it. Say it with me. If you own a firearm, you're a potential gun killer, gun killer, mass murder, criminal. If you own a firearm, it's only a matter of time before that thing goes off and kills everybody around you. Uh, I appreciate the intent, but it seems like to be a lot of symbolism over the actual substance. Pennsylvania legislature, long controlled by Republicans, has not seriously considered broadening gun control measures since 2018. With a newfound one-seat Democratic majority in the House, the chamber kicked off this season's session's debate over gun violence with a hearing in March. Ah, uh, it's crazy. Even if the bills win House approval, guess what? Republican-controlled Senate, which has historically been protective of gun rights, while working with Democrats in boosting funding for anti-violence and mental programs. Brooke Schultz is a core member of the Associated Press. All right. Brooke, that's a pretty good one. I'm glad you didn't concentrate on all the anti-gun stuff. You shared the pros and cons, this side of the desk, this side of the desk. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, it's people like that gentleman uh, from Montgomery County, uh, Tim Briggs. He's after your guns. He believe it. He's drank the Kool-Aid. So what happens now is they're not done after they get this. They're coming after you. They're coming after your guns. And I'm not just trying to create a scare, but it is the God's honest truth. Look at Washington. Look what they're doing in New York. Look what they've done in New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, <laughs> Illinois. Ban, ban, ban. And boy, oh boy, is that going to cure the problem? I don't think so. It's Kato Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. And I have to go back out to the range today. I went and bought 20 more slugs. Left my doggone choke. I got distracted and didn't screw it all the way in. 
and I couldn't figure out why my slug shots were all over the place, but it was about that far from being fully seated. So we got to go back out and do it all over again today. No big deal. I like shooting. And we're going to be hitting out with some Callaway 124 grain boat tail hollow points and 147 grain. Those are pretty good for spinners. Y'all be good in the infamous words of the great Cobra Burnout. Burnout, I think it is. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. Ha, ha, ha.